Hawaii football is back on the rise after a terrific turnaround engineered by Nick Rolovich in his first season as head coach. Hi, I'm Cassie Soto inside the Mountain West Network studio. With 15 returning starters, Hawaii takes aim at its first winning season since 2010. Here's what you need to know as we count down a kickoff with the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. The talk on the island is back-to-back -back bowl seasons for Hawaii, and that could come with the help of securing a returning starting quarterback. Drew Brown led the team to its first bowl game since 2010. The junior under center led the Rainbow Warriors to a win over Middle Tennessee in the Hawaii Bowl, where his five total touchdowns tied a bowl record. I continually stress to the guys still on the football team that that was not easy. I tell them we're probably going to have to do more just to end up with the same record we did last year. We're no longer the underdogs and we're not sneaking up on anybody anymore so um, we have to make sure that we don't settle because if the guys back home are saying that number two is good enough, um, that's not the best mindset that we should have going into the season. Running back Diasini St. Just will be the heartbeat for the offense. The standout senior carried the ball a team high 165 times for 1,006 yards and three touchdowns. Much like his quarterback, St. Just also set a UH Bowl record by rushing for 170 yards on a career high 25 carries in the team's Hawaii Bowl victory. I know there's some great running backs in this league. Um, I, I believe he's one of them. Um, you know, he was able to stay injury free last year for the most part, which was which was big. He's struggled with that throughout his career. Um, I thought a lot of it was, um, you know, he did some extra stretching. He did a lot of extra work to keep himself limber. He's a, he's a tightly wound player. In any time you have a guy that, when you put him in space, can take it the distance, that's scary for a defense. Um, and obviously anytime you can run the ball well that makes it easier on the quarterback because you know the defense can't just play play the pass. Um, that being said when Diosmi's in space I'd take him over anyone. Six foot four, 235 pound Jelani Tavai will be a nightmare to offenses across the nation. The junior linebacker led the team and ranked 29th nationally with 129 total tackles and became the first UH player to record over 100 tackles in a season since 2011. Regardless of his talents, coaches and players alike say Tavai will always be the last person to take credit for his hard work. Take, take Jelani's production out. Who he is as a person is why he's here representing our university. And he's a guy that we can always count on to do the right thing. He works hard. He plays through through nicks, bruises. He was extremely productive, but I bet if Jelani was in here, he would be the first one to tell you he probably missed two and a half sacks last year, a couple more tackles for loss, you know, a couple. He could have had and he could have had a really great statistical year. Um, and he'll also be the first one to tell you that that's not all him. You know, the, the defense um, is built for that guy to make plays. Looking ahead to Hawaii's schedule, the Rainbow Warriors will face San Diego State on October 28th. Last season, when these two teams met, the Aztecs shut out the Warriors, a bad taste that still lingers in the team's mouths. Since I got into Division One coaching, or I don't know if it's maybe ever since I started coaching, I had never been shut out except for Rocky Long last year and, and, and his staff and his team. Um, that, that made me angry, I don't like that. But they right now are the king of the West and we gotta go through them to, to get to where we wanna go. The 2017 football season for the University of Hawaii holds great promise, I think, that Hawaii has more players, more big players who can run. And you really see it in the secondary. And that's going to help with the depth and the special teams. The other part that's interesting is there's a lot of competition at a number of spots, which has led to tremendous intensity in their preseason practices. I do think their UMass opener in what is known as zero, week zero, uh, that's gonna be August 26th, that's huge. It's a tone setter for the season. And UMass was pretty good last season and gave Hawaii all they wanted at home. But right now with Drew Brown, the quarterback, and a good stable of receivers and healthy running backs, it looks very promising. 
Thanks, John. Hawaii will start off the 2017-2018 season at UMass on August 26th, and the following week will host Western Carolina University on September 2nd. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Cassie Soto.